He relies more on finesse than force, although in his nine wins and one draw, he scored seven KOs. Steve, what do you see behind those numbers? Zach Graham has faced weak opposition. His 10 opponents have won only 43% of their bouts. That sounds pretty poor until you consider that Chagayev's six opponents have won exactly the same, 43% of their bouts. Graham Green. Graham has been passed four rounds only once. In contrast, Chagayev has already been eight. Advantage Chagayev. And lengthy jump. Given the subpar quality of Graham's opposition thus far, tackling Chagayev is ambitious. But remember, Graham doesn't have time on his side. He's already 32 years old. And so, as we've said before on Showbox, somebody's O has got to go as Ruslan Chagayev and Zach Graham meet in a battle of unbeaten heavyweight prospects. Eight rounds or less. Let's go to ring announcer Dean Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to Yonkers Raceway, Yonkers, New York, where tonight Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, in association with Vlad Warden's Millennium Events and Showtime No Limits, present Showbox, the new generation. All belts are sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission Chairman Ron Stevens. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the heavyweight division. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10 point must system will be John McKay, Oscar Perez, and Steve Weisfeld. After the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Benji Estevez Jr. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing blue and gray, weighing in at 232 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, nine victories, seven coming by way of knockout with no defeats and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cincinnati, Ohio, presenting Zach Showtime Graham. His opponent across the ring in the red corner wearing black weighs in at 235 and three corner pounds. His professional record, five victories, four coming by way of knockout with no defeats and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Uzbekistan, now representing Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting a proud member of both the 1996 and 2000 Uzbekistan Olympic teams, introducing Ruslan Shagayev. Okay, man, I gave you my commands. Check yourself at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. The trunks are, hold on a second. This is good, the trunks are good. The trunks are low, but this is it. All right? All right, let me go back. Hey, do me a favor, these trunks up. Very similar with these two, except for reach. They're the same height, but Graham, six inch edge in reach, and he better use it. Notable differences in the rules here in New York City. There is a three knockdown rule in effect for this fight. There is no standing eight count. The referee or the doctor can stop the fight. The referee, as you just heard, is Benji Estevez. He is about to get us going. These are heavyweights, both unbeaten as professionals. Chagayov in black is the southpaw. Graham, the more finesse fighter who wants to force Chagayov to do what he doesn't want to do, Steve, and that's come forward. Make him go backwards. It's a big step up for Graham. I want to see what happens the first time he feels that power of Chagayev's left hand. Graham said yesterday, I said, hey, this is a pretty big opportunity for you. He said, well, in order not to get the shakes, I can't make it too big. So let's say if he, ha let's say if he has the shakes. Right, Graham poking that right hand, missing badly with the left and wading in. Chin first. His hands are low. He's got to establish the distance, I would think, Steve. No doubt. He has to move a little bit and make sure that Chugayev cannot reach him with that left hand. Again, the dilemma for most left-hand or, or conventional fighters, how do you deal with a southpaw? Graham says he's fought many of them, particularly in the amateurs. No problem. You'll see his left hand is dangerously low. And 
Chagayas left high hand is dangerously powerful. <laughs> Graham promised some right hand leads. Common weapon against this one. Common weapon against Southwest. We haven't seen too many yet. Will the reach advantage be a difference? It is somewhat significant. Six inches, Steve. It could be, but it might not be because against Southwest, jabs are usually so ineffective. As we see, Graham just pawing with it. He's in the call him check for it. Is that mattress or whatever? The blue and silver. Definitely shorts, not briefs. <laughs> or is it briefs, not shorts? I don't know. <laughs> but it's Chagaya from Uzbekistan in black. And there's that straight left hand as he's looking to create openings. And Graham is dangerously trapped in the corner. Fights his way off. We haven't seen him back up. Ruslan Chagaya as he wanted to. And he gets poked with a left hand there. And now. Graham is covering up with inside a minute to go in round one, and he looks like he's in somewhat of critical condition by any means, but he goes southpaw here, and he's trying to hold on. That took some wind out of his sails, that left. Well, not, not a great sign, A, that he got hurt the first time he got hit solidly, and B, that he's, he's balanced, and his legs don't look so good right now. One thing about Shigayev, he will punch in combination. His best shot is that left hand to the midsection. And Chagayev is all about pressure, but he gets caught coming in there by a left hook from Graham. But Graham on the ropes, a place he doesn't want to be, as he absorbs a couple of body shots. And Chagayev just teeing off here, looking for openings. And now, tearing through and trying to create a few. Last 10 seconds of round one, and the pace has been pretty good for big guys. Chagayev banging away at the bell. Graham is bleeding badly from the nose, as you can see. Nose lead. Nose lead. He's on a spin on. But calm in the corner. Nose lead. They're pretty calm Nose in the lead. corner. You put the bleeding. We see how it how happens. Right? Chigayev's way is to wear his opponent down. He's not necessarily a big one-shot guy. And I'll tell you, if Graham is in the corner or against the ropes, Chigayev's going to wear him down a lot faster than he would if Graham gave him a little movement. It's no place to be for Graham. He ended up holding and getting out, but he took a lot of punishment. You got to go back to his body. You got to go to his body. Graham trained by Lara Kennedy. Saying we're no opponent. We know we came in here on short notice, but no excuses. They're ready, and he thinks that Graham's intensity will make up for the short time he had to prepare for this fight. But a guy should be ready, Steve, at all times if you're a young prospect unbeaten and the clock is running against you. Graham, 32 years old, with only 10 professional fights. This is it for Graham. I mean, this is his opportunity. He's undefeated. He hasn't fought anybody yet. Now he's fighting a former world amateur champion. This is the time to raise your game and show everybody what you have. At least go for it. You know, don't don't slowly get pounded. Well, Chagayev's game is all about pressure, but there, when he wasn't punching, he got clipped by a couple of shots from Graham. Graham said he's going to sit down and trade a little bit. He wants Chagayev to taste his power, at least discourage him somehow from walking in like that. Absolutely walking his man down. <laughs> Zach Graham, bad place to be. Graham, very little offense to offer. He tries a straight right there, bleeding badly again from both nostrils, trying to find his legs. Looking more for an escape route, Steve. Yeah, Grant's moving to his left, and that's the proper way to move against a left-handed puncher. Because he's moving away from Chagayev's power. But as soon as he stops, watch what happens. Chagayev able to pick his shot. And that was a good move by Graham. He got in the corner and he spun away. But he's not running uh, Ruslan Chagayev and any punches. Not flowing from any kind of defense to offense of his own. So he's losing rounds, and losing a little blood. He's not in his rhythm at all as he tries to slug with Chagayev. Back him off. He 
He's back. Continues the legacy to come forward. Big right left cross and then a right hook to the body by Chagayev and Black. Yeah, Chagayev doesn't have to be too cute here because he's getting inside fairly easily. But he moves his head side to side on his way in. Kenny Adams would like to see him bob and weave a little bit, move that head up and down. And you know, he's only 6'1", Nick. He's not a big heavyweight. When he fights bigger guys, he's going to have to get inside. It's going to be harder. And he's going to have to move that head more up and down, not just side to side. Guy up having his way. Crisp combination with the body there. Ram just waiting, waiting to absorb a blow and then tie up his man. You see the blood streak across the left shoulder. It's Chagaya who comes across the top with a solid left. And another one. And it looks like Graham will get out of this second round, but much the worse for wear as they fought six hot minutes with Ruslan Shigaya 